Our gospel at Daily Mass uh, was the story of the prodigal son. Uh, such a beautiful and powerful story about the kindness and mercy of our Father God. And often when we hear that gospel story, I know for many years when I heard it, I focus on the younger son who, who ran off, um, spent his money on, on dissolute living, as, as Luke says. Um, but the older son was a problem as well. We have to always put it in context of the father. What does the father want? He wants a relationship with his children. And our Father God wants the same thing. He wants a relationship with each of us. The younger son rejected that relationship by, by going off and sinning, by, by literally running away from the father and going and doing his own thing. But the older son rejected a, a relationship of love as well by, by just doing the right thing. But his heart wasn't in it. He didn't realize that everything he had was his father's because he it was the father's was his because he, he didn't really know the father. And sadly, I think many of us fall into that category as well throughout our lives. These Lenten days are a chance to rediscover what it means to be a child of God. Sin is incompatible with being God's child. So let's turn back. So all we have to do is turn back. Because as we know from that beautiful story in Luke's Gospel, the Father comes to run to us. It would have been unthinkable in Jesus' time that a father, especially a wealthy father, would go out and run to his children, run to anyone. And yet that's the image that Jesus gives of our Father God. A Father God who runs to us, who rejoices in our coming back. A Father God who rejoices in your coming back. Live in that loving relationship. Live as God's beloved son or daughter today. Peace.